Before you get into watching this video, I just wanted to make the disclaimer that I am not a medical professional. Anything I say that relates to the vaccine isn't professional opinion, so don't try and quote me on this. Don't try and use me as a source for an assignment, nothing like that. I am not a medical professional. I'm just saying like my own experience, how I was with the vaccine and yeah so don't yeah basically i'm just i want to make that clear that i'm not a medical professional so don't take like basically take what i say if it's medical with like a pinch of salt you get me hey guys so today is the 23rd of may and i have literally just gotten back from receiving my second dose of the covid vaccine more specifically the astrazeneca and so yeah i'm this video is just gonna be like documenting like how i feel after the after it like how i feel tomorrow that type of thing obviously everyone's body reacts differently but yeah and also i wanted to sort of mention something very quick on my first video where i talked about how i which was like my guessing my vaccine like the first dose like vlog I had someone comment saying like wasn't I worried about the risk of blood clots they originally started it out as asking me whether I was on birth control which obviously is a very personal question however I understood why they were asking it so basically I said that I wasn't and they asked me whether I was worried about the risk of blood clots I said that no because everything has a risk any vaccine has a risk any illness etc and I think the person, I can't remember exactly what the person was said next, but I replied back saying, if you get, if you go on the pill, there's a risk of blood clots with that. And so, yeah. Yes, obviously I understand there was, there's a risk of blood clots, but there's a risk of everything. There's a risk of blood clots from not exercising and yeah so unlike being highly unlike going from being really active to not active like there's a risk of blood clots with that there's a risk of blood clots with just anything any medication there's a risk of clots obviously yes i know like blood thinners as to reduce your risk but yeah there's a risk with anything and it's understanding that risk and it's being informed about those risks and the side effects and the cons and like the consequences that you can make an informed choice and you can give informed consent to say yes I want to have this vaccine so obviously yes when I had the first dose the whole blood clot thing wasn't exactly about but <clears throat> Or at least it wasn't as like well known type thing but I am still okay guessing it now I was probably more at the risk of guessing it after my first dose than I am at my second like I've still got a chance but I was probably at a higher risk and with everything it's all about recognizing the signs so making sure you know the signs of like blood clots and all of that stuff so yes there's risk but it's making an informed decision knowing these risks knowing everything or knowing a lot about it that you can say like fully be able to say yes or no to the vaccine so there's that i wanted to clarify that like i'm not on birth control type thing but yeah so i'm just gonna update you as and how i feel like i probably might update you tonight tell you how i feel i remember after the first time i just felt a bit like i was starting to get like a bit tired but if you want to see like how exactly i felt the day after make sure you watch that other video but yeah, I'll just update you guys like tonight and how I feel and then like tomorrow 
etc. So yeah, here's how my body reacts to the AstraZeneca second dose. Hey guys, so it is now Monday and basically, obviously I never updated you guys last night. Basically last night I was completely fine and today I'm fine. I think I can raise my arm, like there's a slight ache, but you know, a slight ache I can deal with. I feel so, so good. And honestly, it feels like incredible. Like it honestly feels incredible. And yeah, obviously I did have the AstraZeneca and a lot of people had a really bad reaction first time and then were okay second time. And obviously if people have the Pfizer, typically they're all right first time and then feel terrible second time. So like I know my teacher had the Pfizer yesterday and all she's got is an achy arm, but it's completely fine other than that so it depends on the vaccine obviously and yeah basically apart from feeling terrible after the first dose second dose I was fine I'm still fine like it's a few hours later now and I'm still fine like my arm still aches a little bit probably even less than when I last talked to you like honestly yes there is a risk but like i said there's a risk with anything so it's all about making sure you know all the details you know all the risks so that you can make an informed choice and i think the vaccine is sort of like it is like worth it and yeah because you've got to think the vaccine has been helping cases come down like, people, like, were basically acting the same from in, like, January as they were in, like, April. And obviously, like, cases have gone down through vaccines. So, I think it is worth it. And also, I'm likely going to have to need it for, like, my job like my future career anyway and also if there might be some countries that would prefer you to have it and and it's just going to end up making my life easier because covid even though things are getting back to normal covid's still going to be around in a year's time it's still going to be talked about it's still going to be in like the odd news story but Having the vaccine does make it easier and it just means that, yeah, it's just easier. And so, yeah, have the vaccine if you're offered it, if you get the chance to. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to watch any of my, any of my other videos and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.